Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up auto restarts on your Minecraft server. So to do this we're going to use a plugin Ultimate Auto Restart which you can get on Spigot or Polymart. It's a free plugin you can download, however if you want to support the developer you can get Ultimate Auto Restart Plus which gives you a few cosmetic features like being able to use Discord webhooks to notify about the server restart. However for this tutorial I'm just going to download the basic version. And then we're going to want to go to our server's file manager, go to the plugins folder, open up our file explorer and pull the jar into here and then we'll restart our server. So once your server has restarted, you're going to want to go back to your plugins folder and you want to find the ultimate auto restart plugin. So mine is here. When you open it, you'll find a few config files. So for this tutorial, I'm going to leave out the messages, sounds and webhook files and we're going to focus on the config so that we can change the restart times for your server. So here you can configure the commands that will be sent to the host to restart the server. I believe save all and restart should work for most hosts, but if you're running a server from your own PC, you'll have to make your own restart script that it triggers. And you can also set commands that are sent after it's restarted. This number here is the amount of seconds after startup, and then you can also change the day that it's sent. But here is where you can actually change the times your server will restart. For this example, I'm going to change the restarts to be every day. So I'm going to type daily and then use a semicolon and then I'll type midnight as well. So it will restart every day at midnight. And then I can actually remove all of these and you can just use the one here and then it will just restart every day at midnight. You can also change the messages and sounds that get sent before it's restarted. So in this case, it will be 30 minutes, 10 minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, and then three, two, one. And you can do the same with the sounds. You can also delay the restart if there are an amount of players on the server. So if it's a particularly popular day, then you can enable this and then 30 seconds before the restart. If there's at least one player in this case, then it will delay it by 600 seconds and then it will check again. So you might want to set this to something like 50. So if there's lots of players, it will check again to see if there's at least 50. This is the format for the intervals. This probably isn't worth changing because this works fine. And then we can just save the file and we can then log on to our server. So now that I'm on the server, you can use the command slash UAR to bring up this help menu. If you do UAR time, you can show the time until the next restart. UAR stop can be used to stop the restart that's happening in the future. So now if I do UAR time, you'll see it's not actually going to restart. But I believe if you reload the plugin, it goes back to restarting on the regular interval. Another really handy command is UAR now, and then you type the amount of seconds, and then it will force a restart to happen at that time. So now our restart's going to happen in 30 seconds. And now the server's restarting. So that's how you can set up automatic restarts on your Minecraft server. If you like this video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.